Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Sammy J. Princess dress. <sighs> Feeling good? Mm -hmm. Looking good. Thank you, thank you. Feeling hot out. So only us, only me, only in this reality could get roped into these random situations constantly. But we do have a history of doing a lot of house clean outs. If you guys ever saw back deep enough on our YouTube channel, we have tons of videos of doing trash out, clean outs. Um, so this guy who has a company that does demolition basically called me today and asked if we would remove a bed frame. Like a wooden bed frame and a mattress from a place in Atlantic City. And the amount that he said to do the job seemed like really good. So obviously I said yes, because you could always use some extra money. And then we found out where it was, and we were tripping because it's in like a high rise. <laughs> this, is, this is Gotham. And we don't know how crazy this is about to be, but Sammy J's coming for companionship, and she's basically just gonna film me and mock me the whole time. But let's go check this out. We got everything we needed, right? Sledgehammer, and that's pretty much it. And these muscles, these guns. Uh, right? Sammy J with the Sammy J. <laughs> I had to get a sandwich. I had to redeem myself. Did you get a classic? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. What was it? A veggie and cheese. That's it? Yeah. No chips. Mm -hmm. Savage move. Not everybody needs to eat chips with their meals like you. <laughs> so, this guy's a bad influence when it comes to uh, you have chip. to. You have to have chips. Yeah, we put $50 in. Here. We put $50 into the tag, right? Right. And it went from a lowercase e to a capital E. And that's all it did. Oh my gosh, there's so many people out here. I was saying off camera. stay in there. Yeah. <laughs> Crumbs on my titties. This, this should be interesting, you said. Oh, I said this should be interesting because this is like the first, because we haven't done clean outs. Not that we're doing a clean out, but it's similar to one, whatever. Getting pregnant brain. But I said this should be interesting because it's the first official like type of little side job where I literally can't do anything. What are you going to do there? I'm going to... Are you going to tell the people, like, listen, I'm pregnant, but I'm here to oversee, like, supervise the job because this guy gets, like, carried away? Yeah, that's pretty much, I definitely was doing that in the past, too, but like working at the same like, time, like, like, this, like, this guy's an idiot, not, I gotta just keep him in Like, line, if I'm not here, this guy might just, like, throw the mattress off the, the, exactly. <laughs> into the back like, of the truck. You still want your car windows? Like, let me be here. Did you see that sign? It said Kate May Salvage, and there was, like, a lady selling shit out of a house. Did That's you notice tempting. that? Or not? Well, no, nah, we can't. We gotta go to this job. But it's just weird. Are you gonna tell him you're the supervisor and hold like a pen and pad? Mm-hmm. And like when the guy's talking, be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Did I finish what I was saying? Guys, <laughs> I don't gonna remember. Be, yeah, they're gonna be, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, we were sent here to like, and they're gonna be like, nah, no, you weren't. <laughs> just like turn us to the door <laughs> admit that's gonna happen that might happen and i wanted to wear like sweatpants and like a t-shirt but it's literally too hot and i know and i'm the one who found out that it was in an apartment building so i was like well where is it at and he was like it's on the on slow whatever i was like that sounds like an apartment building and he looked it up and of course it was Nine, an apartment it was like building. 1910 too does that mean it's on the 19th floor i'm hoping it's not <laughs> <laughs> but knowing the situations that you usually get us into it probably is um 
That would be so funny. Like, could you just put it? We'll just put it in the elevator, the service elevator, for you. If, if there is one, because we've had jobs that we've looked at like sneak snake snacking. The enclave sounds where like there place. was no service elevator. The enclave sounds so, like a classy place. I'm not do you remember lie. that job in AC? And we had to bring everything down in the steps. We didn't do it. We never did it, did we? Oh, oh, that oh. The one. Oh. The blinds. I remember that job. That was super easy. That to was do wild. That. There was like only a chair, and then like a whole bunch of other like riffraff, like big brickle brackle. What do you call it? Like sticks and shit. This guy said it was easy. It was. Must forget. He <laughs> must forget. This one's gonna be way crazier. You don't think? Yo, this place is so freaking big. It could easily be on the 19th floor. Maybe it's just on the 13th floor. There is no 13th floor. Nah, there isn't. I bet there's not. There usually isn't. No, right? there never is. Sometimes. <laughs> this is the craziest building. Literally, ever. It's just crazy. <laughs> I feel so weird walking in here like pregnant to do a job. and. You can just throw this on. Like, I just... Hand gliding. Yeah, hand gliding. All right, let's, get, let's get this done. Let's at least check this out and see what it looks like. You're saying you might think he's up there? No, I'm, I'm saying I hope that somebody's here. That Look at this. <laughs> this is, this is Gotham. Take some random person off the street and they come here to get this bed out of this apartment and let me the key. I mean, I they better give it to us. Right. Said uh, 1911, the Enclave and AC, bed and bed frame, Fantasian Company, Corporation. All right, let's go in here, right? This is like a gnarly freaking need assistance call security. All right, should we try and like? Just tell them why you're here. Just tell me your what. Hey, uh, we're, I'm supposed to be checking out one of these condos to take a bed out of it for uh, like a company. You're a contractor? I'm a subcontractor of the guy, but it's uh, 1911. You're going to have to go through the security desk. Uh, James? Is there a way to call up to the room? Oh. Hey, I'm supposed to be taking a bed out of here for. Uh, a company that I work for. Okay. Who's bed? It's not the room number is nineteen eleven. His apartments. I don't know who it is. Okay. The company's called Fantasia and Company. I'll call this you. Okay. <laughs> I told you they were gonna turn us away. <laughs> like anyone wants to go in this piece of shit it's building. So moldy That's in what's here. crazy. Yo, it's so moldy in here. The, the, the special government security clearance to go in. Special government security clearance? Because we got to remove a bed for somebody, but they won't let us in because we don't live here. They have it locked up tight on here, huh? Well, if you give them the name of the opponent, you got to... I don't know the name of the guy, though, because it's just a friend of mine called me to do it. You oh, know what I mean? It wasn't like my job that I... Uh, it was just kind of like you a... You shouldn't lift anything. She's not lifting a thing. I'm here for moral support. And she's to make sure I keep him in line. <laughs> she's the supervisor. <laughs> well, no, she's the supervisor. I got news for you. I got news for you. <laughs> the boss is the boss. Yeah, she's the boss. She's in there. Do we know if it's a girl or a boy? It's a girl. <laughs> Who's your boss? What? Who's your boss? <laughs> my two daughters and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful life then, right? <laughs> He went with two though. Two baby girls. It's just getting more classy by the second. <laughs> <laughs> so Turner is like, that guy thought you were gonna like lift something? And I'm like, yeah, I'm pregnant. And it's clear. Like then when we first got here, obviously they're looking at us and turns like, yeah, here to remove a bed. And then like my pregnant ass is just sitting here and he's like, he's like, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't have came, but I just wasn't thinking about it like that. And I was like, well, I was. I that's why I said it's going to be uncomfortable because it's like, that's just how humans are. They just like, even though it's really none of their business, what we're doing, um, if we have clearance to go in there, 
but uh, that's just how humans are. They just judge and is what it is. Desk. Okay, I already, I actually, I already talked to the front desk because I thought I would have oh, access did. to go up there and just do it. And they were okay. acting, uh, they told me that nobody owned the condo that I was, that, uh, so I just left. But I'm coming back if you want me to finish it. What? I they don't know. They out. were acting crazy like they were the FBI or something. Like they were investigating me, like, why are you here? I don't know. It was pretty crazy, honestly. Yeah, I don't quite understand. Um, now, if I never mentioned you before, though, that, that's why I was, I'm a little confused here. You can call them if you want. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that would be actually it'd be helpful. Um, but you're saying you just went to the condo and they didn't let you in? I just went to the front of the condo where he told me to go. And they were like, who are you? And I was like, I'm here to finish the Murphy bed. And then they were like, oh, well, we're going to call up to that specific condo, which is nothing, right? Correct. And then they came back in like five minutes and they were like, oh, well, we don't see... anybody that owning that condo or something like that and they were like you're gonna have to call him and so that's what i did yeah that makes absolutely no sense uh, i have no I mean, idea i i don't even I'm, I'm, know what's going on honestly i'm just doing what i was told by chris to do that's it right so you'd never been in 1911 before no okay so well can you be fair because i tried calling chris an hour ago i have not got a response back because I, I thought he was he's supposed to come back around like 12 31 o'clock and i hadn't, hadn't heard anything i have, you have Chris? i have no Go idea ahead. you got to call him back then but he, i actually left two two texts in the last hour he hasn't responded to me okay uh i'm not sure would he, i called him not that long he, ago and he didn't answer so i have no idea Well, you know, put yourself in, in my position here. You know, uh, I I only did the unit. He was Chris was there this morning. You know, took out the, the big bed component and then the rest of the stuff on the wall. Uh, he was coming back at uh, like twelve thirty one o'clock, uh, and I haven't heard him since. So, uh, and then I don't understand what's happened with the condo here. I'll have to get them a call. You went to the front desk people. Yeah, a guy in like a black suit. Uh, came there I, and he I don't know security I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Philadelphia I don't know you know oh you're not here okay yeah uh, <laughs> I thought you were in the condo the whole time no and I'm in Philadelphia my, my son has been there all day specifically to, to wait for Chris to be there so that he can take care of the, the Murphy bed okay what they should have done if they had a problem is to go up to the room knock on the door and ask him about it instead of telling me that they didn't know how to get in touch with him but okay, can you call your son and tell him to just come down then? Right now. That's what I'm saying. They should have got him from the condo and told him that I was here instead of just what? turning me away. That's what I'm saying. This is amateur. You're right. They, they, they should have done that, or so they should, or they should have called me. Um, I, I'll okay. call the front desk and I'll call you right back. This is not gonna happen. This guy's a literal. Honestly, idiot. I mean, I mean, I'm, maybe I'm just pregnant, but this is irritating. As <laughs> like, this is super. Like, almost a joke at this point. I mean, it's. I don't know. There's too many. I guess we've done this enough time. Not this specific, but like we've done <laughs> enough jobs over the past five years to just be really over this situation. I don't need to even get like, there. That's why I was just telling him. I thought shit. we were done with the trial and errors. Like, like this is like, just like him. taking me back to like I like I think I have PTSD <laughs> from like the past. I don't understand how these like people I don't need to be doing this right now. Act like this though. It's like just open the door, let me in there, and I'll just finish it off. I could have already been done. I feel bad because like he sounds very nice. Nice. And he like, like I understand I'm not that. Lie, he sounds like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, but at the same time, who am I to Chris? Like, he doesn't know you could go. We could be going up there to kidnap his son, is what he thinks. No, he thinks we're trying to like steal shit from his condo. But like, there's nothing in there. I could already, I already know. That's sure. what kind of irritates me is that like, okay, we're in this situation. We're doing this as a favor only. Where that's it's literally like, it. As a the favorite. front desk is making us feel a little bit weird. Like, there's a little bit of lurkiness going around. We are in Atlantic City, and <laughs> like, there were like sketchy people walking around out front, and so we're being prejudged. I'm <laughs> pregnant, but it's just like, 
I don't know. It's cringy. I don't really like it, to be honest. I'm just... They should have gone up to the room and talked to the guy. Not just told me, like, oh, nobody's in there. They don't own the apartment. Men don't know how to communicate. No, he didn't He didn't like that. When yeah. I told him, they, t they told him that... They told me he didn't own it. He didn't like that. Because maybe he doesn't. It seems like suspicious, like they're cleaning out so much Murphy bed that they don't even own. Oh. Wait, this what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? I'm just grateful this contract is through the company, not us. Because, <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with the stress of this guy. No, I feel bad for Chris. I'm like, oh, no wonder he's not answering this. That's why <laughs> but then, like, it puts us in an awkward position. I mean, I don't even have to get out of this car, but, like, I don't want to sit here. I wouldn't have came if I knew that it was going to be like this. Just because it, it might have been easier. And we couldn't find Turner's uh, orange tri-state shirt. Because, like, in people's small peanut minds, when you have, like, you know, a neon orange shirt or yellow shirt on, they're, like, in their head it just clicks. Like, oh, they're contractors or construction workers or they're here to do a clean out or take out a freaking Murph bed. So, you know, they want to make sure that you're legitimate, basically. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I, I understand. We're in Atlantic City, so you never know. But okay, I can if I can go in, I'll go finish it up bring, and get this stuff out of there for you guys. That would be good. Um, now, th there was something about, you know, that Chris was coming back, to uh, had to bring a tarp back. Did, did, did he mention that to you? Uh, no, he never said anything about a tarp. Yeah, I don't know, because when I talked to him at, at 12, 15, that's where he was told he needed to get a car before he can finish the work. And he said he was at Home Depot, he was coming back, and that's the last I heard from him. I never heard anything about the tarp. <laughs> well, I guess maybe maybe this, it, this won't be a very messy part, so... Uh, I think I, I, it's I, supposedly a screw gun to take it apart, so I don't think there's going to be, like, splintering or anything. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think it should be uh, good. I, we got it. We got it under control. But yeah, if, if the tarp is needed, maybe I'll... This is by far the most confusing and cluster job ever. So we're going to film the whole thing just because it's so ridiculous. Total insanity. I see that. And I have to pay. Supposedly he put a... He, he threw the, the guy who works here threw the couch into the wall and put a hole in the wall and then he was trying to blame it on the guy who we're working for. So it's just like insanity. Ooh, I have to pay. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna pee myself. All right, are we just going up then? Okay. You have the service out there, is that right? Yes, you can't take anything to the front of the house. You have, you have to have a tarp to move things through. If you make it past the elevator, you have to sweep it up. Go back, keep it up. And where's your vehicle parked at? It's parked right out front. Well, th you have to use the service entrance. Is there a service entrance? Yes. Cool. Uh, I put the I put my name instead of the other guy's name. The other guy's name is Scott Farah. Should I redo that? I don't even know. What does that say? That's my name. What is it? Turner Grafe. Oh, okay. Look, I mean, that's fine. Just 1911 and just use the back entrance or something. I heard you put the couch through the wall. Hmm? Did you put the couch through the wall earlier? I don't move furniture. I don't have a oh, okay. they, they drive a neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell that was a lie. <laughs> Service, thank God. <laughs> no, for real. I literally do not like people like that, that and I'm glad that I had the camera on while he was treating us like that because believe it or not people treat us like that more than you would like to believe and at this point in life I'm not fucking having it and that guy just pissed me off because I don't like when people treat my husband like that either what does that say I know he's got messy handwriting I don't like that just made me heated. All right, this is where this is where we're supposed to be. As people who do quote unquote manual labor, I guess this is the entrance we're allowed to use. This is the entrance <laughs> where the uh, the minions go through. That the, guy, that guy, 
Did he irk you? He's in for a really shitty life if he already doesn't have one. What do these people like rent out these little areas that There's... live in here? Yes. And be like, this is my storage locker? Yeah, they do do that. That's gnarly. This is gnarly. And you know what's funny is that that guy who's treating Chris like that and whoever he was talking about, but um, obviously Chris doesn't carry around a camera with him all the time. So he didn't get it on film? No. And the thing is, he was like saying, like, bring back the tapes then. Because the guy was trying to accuse him, but it's out of his control. The guy would obviously not bring back the tapes if he's the one who put the hole in the wall. Yeah. Hey, hey. The, for the bed, yeah. yeah. The bed. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hi. Okay, so it's the mattresses, or it's just this? How is that gonna fit in there, though? It's gonna have to. Hey. Yeah. It, what is it exactly that needs to go? The so mattress the, and the. No, uh, the mattress is staying. It's just that the green. Oh, the thing. green. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Simple. Yeah. It's just like the. It's gonna have to just. Anything. Yeah, it's just gonna have to be unscrewed. Yeah. All right. So just this. And let me make sure. There, it might also be. Nothing else big. It's okay. It's like this and like possibly. Oh, and this like the shelf thing. Or not shelf, this like door that came off of the last thing. Oh, just that little thing. I think. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure though. No worries. No, that's cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Miscommunication, I guess. All right, Sammy found this car. So we're gonna use it. And then, big boy Troy over here. <laughs> Not the most preferable tool to use, but definitely the most effective. Just hold on. 26, thank Packed you. house. Packed house. Okay, I'll give you some more room to breathe. <laughs> I'm glad I took a shower this morning. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. That's what I said. It's not the. He reminds me of Kobe. Yeah, a bit. It's the most effective tool we got. What do you need? In the bundle. What'd you say? I said, what, what are you smashing? Uh, it's just a Murphy bed from one of these. Oh, joints. I've got you. This Great. is Asta. The old bed. Oh, yeah. You got it, babe? Do you yeah. have one of those in your condo, too? We, we, they all came with them, but a lot of people get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. you got to get it out of there eventually, right? Yeah. They're kind of cool, though. Did you ever think of asking the maintenance men to help you? They might even want the parts or whatever. No. Nah. No? The people here were treating us like shit, so honestly, I'm not asking. Uh, they said they don't do manual labor here. That's what he told us. Yeah, he the said front that's, desk that's for the peasants, that's what he said. Yeah. Well, talk to the management office, not the front desk. <laughs> if you need anything. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. <laughs> Did they not say we're, This is the craziest building. You can't live in here. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> all right, so here's what we're going to do leave it right here. And then I'm gonna just bring it all out and put it on there. All right, let's see how this will work with the sledge. I'm gonna try and get as much as we can of this in this trip. Literally, don't miss that sound. Two pieces, so we'll stack them. That sounds so crazy. Interesting operation. But we got it. This is how we're bringing it. This should work. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get it in one, but maybe two.
nice. Wow. That's the big piece. All right. Got it. Oh, there's only one big one. Mm -hmm. so that'll be nice. Is there, there's another, there's two screws in the wall, right? There's one up in the corner, right? Where? That little corner up there. This? There's one on the other side though. Yeah, like up this way, right? And then one on the bottom, like oh, how yeah, it is on that end. Up up here. First load going down. This is how I stacked it up here. Okay. And then we have this massive big piece. Forgot about that guy. So I think we did like how many traps? Three. Nah, three at most. that we're getting because you have to bring everything down because it's a full-blown burden total That's burden why. i get it living in this bed and i didn't even have to do anything like i'm just here but i can em empathize full-blown burden though but uh yeah i couldn't live in here period ever That's what they need. Well, yeah. I mean, this was brought up piece by piece. My bike's still out of
I don't lift couches. Why is uh, I don't do manual labor. He throws, oh, 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 he throws oh. couches into the wall. <laughs> he puts holes in the wall of his own building. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that's a wrap so it took us like two hours from when we left the house to now so, so not bad oh i put the cart right here right, have a good night dude and we are out of here there's a curve right all right what happened we're on our way home and i saw something that looked like it was in the trash it was like um flower boxes really but not just your typical flower box they're like should go past the street and that's the next street it's like there's two streets after this mm, not this one it's the next one are you sure positive because remember i ran down one well, i ran by a street before we went to the one by just stop right here for a second you were right it's the next one because we went past one and then I was like, gold? And you were like, yeah, oh, yeah, gold, else. gold, gold, gold! I don't know if it's gold. It looks like gold. Okay, here we go. Do they look like flower boxes or am I blind? No, we're looking like something. Let's see. Oh, this Jeep came together. This Jeep's about to take Sammy's new flower boxes. Oh, no, no, they're not. They're bunnies. These are flower boxes. Are they in the Problem trash? is they're filled with stuff. Oh. Should we peep them? Are they not in the trash? Yeah, they are. Are you sure? They have to be. What's up, everybody? Great morning. Here we are, another beautiful day out. Another beautiful day in paradise, truly. But Sammy, when we woke up, she came up with this idea. It's a really, really nice day. So we grabbed some Wendy's breakfast. Some breakfast sandwiches. Which, if you don't know, Wendy's has really good just egg and cheese biscuits or bacon egg and cheese if you like that they have really good breakfast sandwiches for a great price and we're gonna head down to the park and eat our breakfast in the nice beautiful summer getting to summer weather so that's the plan we're gonna eat our bracky down at the park mm -hmm. and then what I brought you hand and then go trash picking that's the claim you think there's good stuff out? Maybe. We'll see. Seems like a really, really good weekend to clean out your garage, get your stuff ready for summer. We're feeling a big come up today. I am anyway. A really hot weekend to clean out your garage. <laughs> hot girl summer. Ooh. Finn's out here. Oh, we out here. I gotta take this off. I'm sorry. Check this out. So this is one of the many benefits of living where we live. You get to enjoy the the bays, the oceans, all the seabirds, boats and bridges. Being near the water is just great. Oh, this is so perfect, right? Yeah. This is fun. This is such a good idea. Yeah. It was Finn's idea. Was it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Finn's smart girl then. She's smart girl, she yeah. knows. Was she kicking this morning? Yeah, she's punching me in the stomach right now. All right, we'll show you all what I was talking about with this. All right, so some of these creepy wild wild waters left over here, but they like just left it there too. It's still it's hot, like cold, still right? Still cold, yeah. So this is what we got. 
obviously the potato wedges. Sammy gets these probably every time, but it might be Finn. We're not sure because she never got these before Finn was here. Is this Finn? Yeah, probably. Did you eat some already? Yeah. She was snacking. She did. And then we got the special. No meat, because the meat can come. Depending on the different worker and depending on the different Wendy's, I don't I don't eat meat anyway, but in my opinion it can be creepy. Because it, it can come undercooked, which is gross. Like undercooked and soggy and weird. But this is the breakfast sandwich that you, you gotta go for. It's small, small but mighty. Egg and cheese, biscuit. Let's see how it is today. And I eat my potato wedges with barbecue sauce, so. I mean, it was our home girl today, so. Tiny bit hard. I'd probably give it like an, an eight or a nine out of 10. Maybe mine's better. You're talking about the top of the biscuits hard? Just in certain areas. It's not as soft and fluffy as I would like it. You heard me? That means it's more cooked. True. I mean, it's cooked to, to golden perfection, honestly. The eggs are perfect. Or it's like a little thing though, with fried eggs sometimes, like the parts that got cooked maybe a little bit too long will get hard around the edges. And then like if you get one of those hard pieces, you kind of got to like pull it out of your mouth and then just discard it. It so. has to be like a happy medium because I don't like wet eggs and I don't like hard eggs. I like the in-between. It's like this. Like there's like a little piece that can get hard. This one's nice and soft, but it can get really hard. And that's when you know that $2 breakfast sandwich went wrong. <laughs> right. Are they he doing it? There. He's out there. Oh, man. So they did a yard sale today too. We didn't go to this one yesterday, so we'll take a gander. Yeah. Looks like a lot of it's tools. Peckers. Think about this though. Mm -hmm. When we went to that storage auction and the guy spent what twelve hundred dollars on a storage unit? Yeah. If you just went to yard sales and bought twelve hundred dollars worth of tools, you'd get way better stuff. True. It would take longer, but at the same time it's like Hey, what's up, dude? Easy Rider magazine. Carnival, good show. She got a little duck like, uh, Little duck, 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 goose. Did you have it yesterday too? I did, I did. I have so much stuff. That it was hard to sell it I all, right? I brought more stuff out because we got, still got more stuff. It's never enough stuff though. Yeah, you get to the point where you got enough stuff. <laughs> <laughs> These are like, what do you call it? Spice jars. Hummel spice jars. I believe that that thing rocks on its own or does a little. Oh yeah, we have one of those. We got so many people that want to like Just send, send us. us. I know. Yeah. Congratulations, like by the way. What do you do? Uh, August sixth. Oh, you got a ways to go yet. A little bit. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. Are these all? Are these all women's? Congratulations. Thanks. Are these women's all? You don't have any men's this was clothes? The wife's department. Uh, the wife's department, yep. I mean, yeah. she's selling everything a quarter a piece. I love Wawa. <laughs> Pretty good. I like Wawa. That's good for here. So, anyway, and, and some other women came and just ripped it to pieces, and then I was like, ah. Oh. She had it all nicely folded. And... What is Reliant K? Is that a band? Hmm? It sounds like one. 
Sounds familiar. Right? Yeah. It probably is. The pretzel factory? Which one? The gray one. I don't know. Which one? I'm just thinking like this is so cool but Lucky Girl or like one of the neighborhood cats would definitely just like pop it. <laughs> These are great. Those are cool to have though. They are. But I just know. The cats is not This is a nice set here. Okay. To the pots. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see these pots. We just found some pots in the trash. There's Bazelli's, Benelli's construction all out here, but we don't care. We're just gonna get them. <laughs> it's Bazelli. <laughs> We're gonna get them anyway. Benelli. <laughs> Let's just see what they look like. Here it is. Let's see. Oh, they're just brutalized and ruined. They're kind of cool though, but this one has a huge hole through the side, and that one has a hole in the bottom. I think that. Uh, they were a little bit too far gone, maybe. Well, uh, it, it's up to you. It depends upon if you're going to put them on grass. Okay. If it's on grass, you just chip out the hole and let the you know let it go straight through. This one's really cool. I just I don't want it to fall apart more, you know. Yeah, no, it's, 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 you got it. Whatever you think is best, you're more than welcome to it. What do you think? I know that we're not good at TLC when it comes to painting All right. puppets. We're gonna pass. <laughs> thank you, though. Have a nice day. Have a good one. Enjoy. Congratulations. Thank you. See, I knew he was cool. Yeah, he there was wasn't cool. the guy I thought it was, though. But if that one didn't have a hole in the bottom, we would have totally had like, to get it. I'm not a potter. Like, I don't know how to pot this. He spent like 380 on those each because they're like actual clay. And he, they had their use, though, because you could tell he used them all. Okay. So we're about to get into this here. Got to get our backyard. We got to get everything ready for the coming bundle of joy. So we got this picnic table from a clean out job about four years, three, three years ago, probably at this point. Uh, we thought it was so cool, but we also have never even used it more than a few times. So it's, it looks pretty good on video, but it's pretty rotten. And I'm good. How are you? Basically, we're going to cut it up and throw it out. It's uh, August 6th. I made something. You made something? <laughs> Thank you. It's only one of a kind, right? One of a yeah. kind. One of a kind. Oh my gosh! Look! It's perfect. It's so soft. It's beautiful. And actually for the afternoon, you just and cover the, the soft Little birdies. <laughs> no way. To match. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congratulations. You made that? Yeah. That's it's so really good. Soft. Yeah. I love it. I love babies though. <laughs> yeah. Where I see the my friends have it, so I just yeah. take it. And they never buy it. You know, you cannot buy it. Then. No, it's one of a this kind. This is one of a kind. Custom for Finley. Her name's gonna be Finley. That was the neighbor who just gave us that. I love this. Look at the little button. Handmade. It's so good. Yeah. Interrupted by the most epic gift from our neighbor. But what I was saying is we gotta make moves now until it's too late this has got to go this is going to get chopped up i know it's kind of sad people are going to make comments that they probably would keep this or they want this but we're over it we got to get it out of the yard this is going i've said this before in other videos probably this needs to go pronto this pallet this is to the bike we got yesterday but that pallet is going to be used to hold all of our rakes and shovels and then we can move on from there this pile of stuff from the tree that we cut down needs to go the tires trash obviously but today right now i'm going to be cutting up this with a chainsaw hopefully if the chainsaw 
is cooperating with me. Yeah, let's do it. All right, you get to go now. They got the chain moving, so we'll see where it goes. Alright, feeling good so far. Just cut through five of these like it was butter. So, guess we'll get on to the whole thing. Alright, so there's all the proof you need that I needed. Because I felt a little bad. But this thing is all green and rotting. And for me, for us as a family, it's not where we want to be. We don't want it. So. A couple more cuts and it'll be just shredded. Alright, so we didn't know we were going to get this carried away, but picnic table gone. We moved the other table next to that table because Sammy suggested a long table, even though it's two different tables. And now we're going to get rid of this one, clean up all the leaves, and mow down this area. Yeah, backyard's going to be in ship shop, in tip top ship shop shape eventually, before, this, before June. Hopefully we can get most of what we want to get done here. Although June's like next week, so I don't know about that. June's like now, actually. So I guess I should say in the next couple weeks, we're going to have everything where we want it to be, or at least a little bit closer to where we want it to be, because there's always room for improvement no matter what. Okay, so for the table, I did choose to keep the wood. So that would be one piece, two, three, and there's a fourth piece. And that is just because lumber's so expensive and I know in the future, I'll be looking for a nice piece like that uh, for a project. So four pieces of lumber and they're very old and aged. I mean, they could be used for anything really, so. Table's dismounted. So that's gonna get scrapped. Kind of a nice work table, honestly, for a shop, but I don't have room anywhere for this. And I already have a giant solid metal table in here that I literally just has been in there since we moved here, basically. And I store stuff on it, that's it. So I don't have a use for this. Um, so that's it, really. I mean, we're just getting it going one step at a time. What's the plan, bro? She's being really bratty. <sighs> yeah. All right, what's, what are we doing? We are about to, excuse me, I'm gonna be keen, yeah, Ben. We're about to pack up the 
Landis uh, prints. So, finally, we had to wait for the proper packaging that we ordered to come in so that we could send it without it getting messed up. So, without further ado. So, we could use this as well. Where is it now? What, baby? Uh uh. The rubber bands. Rubber band. There was one. No, there's a whole thing of them. In there. Maybe we shouldn't even put it on there. Actually, right? Uh, I wouldn't put. Uh, well, we can try one, and if it's see, Burger, get out of there, nasty, babe. Well, that's your daughter. That's your daughter too. All right. So these are the Landis prints that we took. A uh, while before he passed away. R.I.P. Landis. So we were trying to get these Paul printed and then post them up, but we never did it. So basically, we don't have a chance to do it now. But we have like 28 of these, I think, all together, and we're keeping like three. So everybody else is going to get number one through 25. <laughs> Landis's face. <laughs> so this will be. Oh, such a so it'll just be like R.I.P. Landis, and then it'll say like Tuck and Sammy 2022. Okay. That's it, right? Oh no, one of 25. Oh wait, that's not true because there's 28. So one of 28. Or should we just count them? Two. Yeah. Here. Three, four. Just take them all out. Cause this thing's crazy. Wow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, mm -hmm. ten. Ten. Okay. So this is the squad right here. Squad. Wow, my friend's annoying. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 20. I'm sure she doesn't get hit to the fact two, that she can go out that door. 3, 4, 5, 6, Bro. 7, 8, 9. So there's 29 right. that we know of. Alright, 29? Yeah. Alright, it comes equipped with a Roo hair. It's fine. Do you want to start with these first because they were the first? And then you can go to this stack. So we'll do either side, it doesn't make a difference. Here, put them on here. So that they don't get damaged and then if people don't have frames or if they don't plan on framing them they can just keep it in this little thing for as long as you want really yeah we're determining if it goes through check it out when you hold it up to the light like it doesn't go through obviously but like it's so dark so maybe we could do it with like a silver pen instead or what or not white what am i talking about something lighter that's not as like Aggressive as the black. Yeah, let me try. Just to keep it like the same what about purple idea, but oh. make it not as dark, right? I know that's where this thing went. You have silver. It's right there. Right? Oh yeah. That might look fine. Like be dark enough, but not come through the other side. Your name. Tuck. Or we could do Tuck and Sammy on some of them. And, and then, then we'll put just put like 2022. One of 29. Like just one slash. Okay. Because that's like, I feel like how artist prints write it out. I was literally going to put of 
let's see. I mean, it's going to have to be matted. No, you're right, though. You can't see this the, the silver as much. So this is the first one. You'll know when, <laughs> You'll when, know you have, when the top the one's black. <laughs> maybe we'll try to do it a little smaller, too. Yeah, that was my fault. All right, moving on. My phone. Oh, because the blank. I'm like, why is that going off? <laughs> Landis. His face. <laughs> he could definitely be a cartoon character. Mm -hmm. Crow does kind of. I told you, Crow's starting to look like him. That's what happens with fat boys. Their faces start looking the same. They're like. They get bad, too. Yeah, they bad. They bad. I see it right bad. now. Oh, bug. Crow. Uh -oh. Look, he hardly woke up. He's mad. So, what do I do? Roll this, huh? <laughs> Conclusion to this video uh, Pretty much a good portion of the video had to do with the job that we did <clears throat> And I kind of just think it's funny The way that the guy was acting towards us even though he knew why we were there and he knew that previously in that same day The owner of the company was there Doing the job um, So he was just trying to give us a hard time because he actually put uh, the leg of the sofa through the wall of his own building and then tried to blame it on the guy who we were working for. Uh, I just want to put it out there that we make our living not from this. So I don't tend to take situations like that too seriously because then you just get stressed out and you get upset and you get angry when stuff doesn't go right. Um, but if you're just laughing the whole time through, but yet still getting the job done and legitimately just knocking it out like I did when I finally got in there, um, you shouldn't be too worried about all of the other variables because I realized that's when things go wrong or when you just get just straight up so angry to the point where you don't want anything to do with it anymore which has happened to me in the past. I just want to put it out there. That was a, just going to say, unprofessional situation that we just had to weave our way through and figure out. Definitely worth it. We got paid the very next day from the owner and the people were happy and the bed is out of there and gone. So thank you all I want to say for watching, for uh Purchasing the Landis prints, whoever did, uh, there is some still left if anybody would want one. Uh, and also just our merchandise site is the best, most awesome way that you can ever support our channel and what we do. So if you ever wanted to show support for us, think about buying something from our merchandise site. Uh, I leave it in the description of every video. It's right there. It's scraplife.bigcartel.com. Uh, and whatever we have on there is what we have right now. We're planning on making the site bigger and better over time. Obviously, it takes forever to establish and build a brand that's legitimate um, and has meaning behind it too, not just like throw a thousand designs up on a site and hope people buy them. That's not how I like to run stuff. I like to go from A to Z, B, C, D, every letter in between. One, I'm trying to build something that matters to me or to us um but yeah shout out to everyone who ordered a print thank you for the dream and i'm gonna do the first giveaway here which is gonna be actually a dual giveaway so two comments will be selected from the video of people who commented for these two items it's going to be the extra aluminum card holder pacific and then this is literally just the uh tracker card so those are going to be given out. And then for the next giveaway, we're going to do this one, which is the wallet. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure exactly when we're going to announce that one, but 
Let's bring this up, and then we'll get Sammy in here to pick the final winner. What? There's 11, 1,200, 1,300. There's 1,293 unique comments made on this video. Wow. All right, let's do this. That's crazy. So thank you all for making comments. There's a lot of comments. That would even just be a lot of, like, that's a decent amount of just straight up views on a video. 1,200 views. I know when you're building an audience and trying to get views, it doesn't seem like a lot. But even just a 1,000 views on a video, uh, you know, is a lot, in my opinion. It took me years to even get videos with that many views consistently. So let's do this. All right, and the winner is, this is not the, this is a for this. We're going to hit the Alrighty. start button. Go, go. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Melanie Chris Santos. And what was the comment? Love the color of the baby's room. Can't wait for final reveal. Winner. Winner chicken dinner. All right, do another one. Okay. Can we pick a second winner? Hmm. Pick another winner. Go ahead. Go ahead. We have this. We have it. Oh, yeah. You can, uh, should I screenshot yeah, it? Yeah, I would. I mean, it's on here, but, you know. So, Melanie, you will be getting one of these. See All right. Go ahead. One more time right. for the second prize. Pick another winner. Ding, 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 going through. Oh. Kelly Huff. And she said, hello, the baby's room looks great. Love watching you both. You're the only YouTube channel I watch the ads. Thank you. That's a good. Because that helps us. Yeah, it does. Thank you very much. So we got two winners. So all you got to do. Winners. Send us an email with your information and we'll send it out to you uh, as soon as we can. So please shoot us a message. Thank you all. For entering, for entering, congrats to the winners, <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to do more uh, giveaways in the in the future. So, peace.